Hi everyone, it's Mia from Rosales by Marissa Coombs and quite clearly I am not doing nails today. Um, so if you're looking for a nail video, maybe wait to the next one or look back at my previous videos, that'd be greatly appreciated. Um, but I've been asked by loads of people on various like Facebook camper van uh, pages and stuff like that for a quick tour of my converted Toyota Previa. So here it is. So I am sat in the back of it at the moment on our sofa and I will get out and show you it a little bit in better detail but she's a 1993 Toyota Previa automatic um, which has been weird because I've been so used to driving a manual for years um, we needed something that we could convert and still be a five-seater family vehicle for like day-to-day -day use I wanted it to be able to be low so that it didn't have any height restrictions and I what else was I going to say it needed it to be low, it needed to fit in a normal car parking space, so that was a huge um, point that needed to be done. Um, and it needed to not be like a humongous gas guzzler, because it needed to be used for day-to-day -day use as well. Um, so we went for a Toyota Previa, and I absolutely love her, so here's a bit more. Okay, so this is her cab area. As you can see, it's really nice and spacious. I've got loads and loads of room to drive and she's got these like pull down armrests as well, which I find really, really handy because I've been so used to driving a manual. Um, my arm, my left arm doesn't know where to go because I would naturally put it on my gear stick. Um, so I use those a lot for giving my arm somewhere to go. And in the passenger seat, um, She's not finished yet. We still have a couple of things we want to do to her. And this is going to be converted into a little table um, with like non-stick, non-slip stuff. Um, it's a really, really big, you can see gloves, baby wipes and bleach, coronavirus ready. <laughs> so that's nice and big as well, although it is broken at the moment because she's an old thing, bless her. So here is her in kind of full view. Let me just see if I can get her all in. The bumps and the dinks and stuff are all things that I didn't do, I'd like to point out. They were there when I bought her. Um, so she's lovely, sized, beautiful. Look at her. She's got double sunroof, which I love as well. Gives in loads of light. She's got a sunroof here, which I can open. I had it closed yesterday because it was really, really sunny. Um, she's got a sunroof there and she's got a sunroof up here which is great because me and my son like to sit on the roof sometimes as well so that's fantastic um we've got a little kitchen area here which is at the back of the passenger seat it does mean that you cannot move the passenger seat because we've put it like as forwards as possible and then we fitted this in with screws so you, could, you can't move it but this seat is as far forward as it can possibly go and you can see that it's like got loads of space still so it's not a problem so this is just here to stop our water container falling out we've got a tap water container this is just full of all sorts of little bits it's got the scissors and stuff that we've just put on with magnets um alcohol gel again corona ready um little pull out bowls and stuff and all sorts of stuff um obviously if we were going on holiday she would have a bit more bits and bobs in her that are currently in the house so this bit of the kitchen just flips up and my son made a little flippy toppy thing so she just automatically comes out like that and then you just have to whoop, push that and she goes down and it's magnetized it's not the best made because i made it <laughs> i'm not very good at the stuff like that but this section here is the exact width for our camping cooker which is currently not in here because uh, i just didn't want it to get nicked or anything um, and then we've got a pull out washing up bowl we're going to get another one of these as well in a different color so that we can use it for like having a wash and stuff when we're on holiday but i haven't got that far yet so oh and there's another little area here for like uh, cups or whatever else you want to put in there a bit of food whatever so so the next thing i want to show you is just like the main area we ripped up the floor in the original van it was disgusting carpet um, and we put down insulation and hardwood or whatever it was plywood whatever the hell it was we used my son did all this my son is nine and he did a lot of the conversion so i'm really proud of him and then we put down this vinyl flooring which i love i love the sort of silver vinyl this we had like a million ideas of how to make the bed uh we were gonna have like really cool fold out beds um and like different designs and stuff but in the end we went cheap and we went simple 
and this is from Argos. It's a pull-out foldable double mattress sofa thing. And then you can see we've kept all three back seats here still so that the van sits five um, because we have three kids and we needed to be able to fit them all in. So this is kind of the main the main area and then this is how it is most of the time except it has the blanket and the cushions and stuff on it and then we've got all of our curtains that were <laughs> i need to put some ribbon on that one they should look like this with the ribbon all cutely tied up um i made the curtains out of a duvet cover the whole lot got made out of a king size duvet cover i do wish i'd have bought two lots of the duvet though in case i needed anything for anything else um so we've got like curtains here a big curtain here and then they are all let me just show you with this one so you just have to pull them down they're all attached with uh double-sided velcro that wouldn't really stick so then i put some nails in as well because i was getting super frustrated with them <laughs> and then they've all got magnets and they've got magnets here and they all just clip like that so you have like instant privacy, which is quite nice. So here is the back. Another thing I love about the Toyota Previa is that it has a huge, look, 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 look. Nice, humongous boot, which is really good because then if it does start to rain or whatever, then we can kind of hide underneath it and we can sit on here because it's humongous too. Um, again, this was all made from the duvet sheet I bought. This was the bag. That the duvet cover came in which is now like the toilet bag it's got like toilet roll and spare bags for the toilet and stuff like that in this is just a bag of spades and stuff because we went to the beach yesterday <laughs> um right so what else we've got in here we've got this is a pillowcase that i sewed into a bag um and it's just got like board games and like a ball and stuff in there as well so we can get rid of that for a sec um, right, so I have the Kampakazi toilet in here as well. So during the day, if we need the toilet, it just goes into the van like that. Obviously, we put all the curtains down. And then if we're just like on a day trip at the beach or something, then the kids can go to the toilet and we can use the toilet and stuff if we're not near a public toilet. Although I don't think I really want to use a public toilet at the moment anyway, thanks to Corona. Um, it's a really good toilet. It takes my big fat butt, so it's a good weight as well pop that out there for a second and then what else we've we got in here we've got a picnic blanket this is an old uh hand wash dispenser from bookers it was like a commercial one so we've got this with water in and then we've got like hand wash and a tea towel and stuff so that we can wash our hands these are just spare carrier bags for whatever you might need them for this is a king size sheet which i just used to hide everything so this is the back so we've got spare towels for beach days where my son jumps in the sea a lot we've got three sleeping pods for if we just decide to wild camp out we've got a camping chair in there as well because my back is really bad i've got like a couple of health issues so i can't always sit on the floor we've also got a tent in here this is a four man or five man tent whatever it is but it's like a, a big like one pod thing so hang on a sec so in the back we have these two boxes that stack on each other <coughs> excuse me one is a box and one is a table um the box has spare tea towels the other spare pillowcase which i will be turning into something waterproof bags first aid kit fire extinguisher fire blanket hand sanitizer more sanitizer um hand wash all sorts of lovelies in basically whatever we want to put in it so that's like that and that's magnetized as well these two boxes come to make the bed and i will show you that now okay so you're gonna be at a bit of a weird angle while i do this because i'm gonna be doing it one-handed trying to hold the camera which is gonna be fun but basically to make the bed you just take out the headrests of the car i can't do this one one-handed so two seconds Do -do -do. Okay. take them out and then go into the car and they have these like pull cords and you literally just pull them and the whole seat goes down if i balance you there hopefully you'll be able to see so 
and then do the other one to be level. Just tuck that down there. And then all you have to do, hopefully again, if I put you here, hopefully you'll be able to see. Hopefully, maybe, no, I don't think you're going to be able to see. So this beast, the sofa, just unfolds. I really can't do this with two hands, uh, with one hand, sorry. So yeah, might go a little out of shot, but basically this whole thing unfolds and goes on the top. of the folded seats like this so there's the folded seats and here's the mattress and as you can see the seats aren't long enough you have hang on you have this space down here where it needs something so that's when the yellow boxes come in so as well as being used for storage and a little coffee table. These both go underneath and they're to support the bed as well, the mattress. So then it looks like this. At the moment that bit goes slightly up because I've got the sleeping bags in here still so I can't make these totally level. But obviously if you were sleeping in it, you wouldn't have the sleeping bags here. So it does go down a little bit further. So that's what it looks like from the back. Do, 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 do. Nice and comfortable. And then at night time, obviously you would have all of the curtains down and the toilet just goes in there like that. So you can still go to the toilet at night. So yeah, that's how we've done our camper conversion. And we really love it. It's um, not cost a lot. It was nice and cheap. We did it over the space of about a week, but we only did like two hours a day. So we could have got it like way quicker than that. And I was doing it with my nine-year-old, so it could have been quicker, but he learned a lot, so I don't care. And we did it for, I think the total cost at the moment is about £350, including the cost of the van. The van is a car that I knew previously. I've actually bought this van twice. I bought it before for my sister, and um, she sold it to some guy, and then he needed rid of it quick, and he had it up for £500, and I haggled him down to £150. Quid. Um, so we've done the whole thing, including the price of the van for about £350. So I'm well pleased with it. It means we have loads of family days out. It means that we'll be camping all over the place. Um, we can put the tent up um, next to it. So yeah, it's great. I love it. So anyone who wants to know how to get a camper van for as cheap as possible, I'd thoroughly recommend a Toyota Previa because they've been really, really good. Um, and it's just so nice to drive as well. She's called Prudence, by the way. Aunt Prudence from Miss Friday's Murder Mysteries, if anyone has seen them, Miss Vicious Murder Mysteries. Um, so yeah, we've named her Aunt Prudence. Um, and she's great, and she's so cheap, and she's like the best family holiday and day out van that we could want. So I hope this has been helpful to someone. Uh, sorry it's not a nail video today, um, but there will be more nail videos in the week. Um, so I'll see you next time, guys. Bye!